Welcome back everybody, I'm Ernest with Upfix and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a hard battery reset. Now this can be done on any year make and model regardless of whether the battery is in the front, the back, near the firewall. This is a good procedure to do as long as you perform it safely which I'm going to show you how. Now this won't replace an OBD2 scan tool which can read the hard codes, any kind of uh, DTCs and show you exactly what's going on but it is still good to reset the, all the computer modules because much like on a smartphone or on a computer, simply removing the ignition out of the key doesn't do a reset. If you put your laptop to sleep, that doesn't do a full reset. This will do a full reset, so we'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. So when you're doing a hard battery reset and the two battery terminals are touching together for at least 15 to 30 minutes, that's slowly draining the electronic capacitors in every single circuit board in the vehicle. So regardless of if you have computer modules under the seats, in the trunk, near the firewall, under the dash, it's actually doing a full reset on every module. So this is important when you're touching, make sure that they're both contacting each other constantly for at least 15 to 30 minutes. And what's important is you want to make sure that the battery terminals don't touch the battery because it can actually do a lot more damage. It can actually fry some components. So I actually recommend removing the battery altogether, especially if the battery terminals are too short and don't touch each other. However, if you're careful and you're safe, you can leave the battery in and just make sure that the two battery post cables are out of the way and not touching the battery. So the most popular size is a size 10. I'm using a socket wrench and you want to start off by removing the negative terminal cable. Now on the positive side, if you have a cover, I recommend removing it completely. And there should be clips on each side. Remove it like so. And if you have limited area here, as you can see next to the air box, it's hard for the socket wrench to reach. You can just use a traditional wrench like this and just loosen it up and give it a wiggle. So as I referenced earlier, if you have battery cables that are a little bit too short and there's a risk of it touching the battery, which is something we want to avoid, I recommend removing the battery altogether and that will give you much easier access and it's much safer. So I'm using a zip tie here to basically have them constantly connecting like so and just route it and that's pretty much it. So when you have the two battery terminals zip tied together, grab yourself a cup of coffee, come back in about 15 to 30 minutes, and then do everything in the reverse order. So after the hard battery reset, this should clear up any kind of soft codes, communication, or syncing issues. Sometimes after you receive a unit back from us, uh, you know, you might have an issue as far as communication or some kind of new symptom. The first troubleshooting step we always recommend is a hard battery reset, first and foremost. And then if you drive it, let's say up to 100 miles and you're still having a light or sometimes the light comes back on again, that very well could be that it's a hard code and no longer a soft code, which means there's a hard fault in the vehicle. Using an OBD2 scan tool will help you clear that up and find the issue for that. Hopefully you found this video helpful. We'll see you next time.